Hey guys, welcome back to Sean's Early Broncos. In today's video, we're gonna go over the removal of my old bumper I've had on here for about 10 years. And there it is there, if you can see it. And the idea behind that is we're gonna be installing a new bumper and winch that I have set up. First thing you gotta do, is make sure you have all your tools and supplies that you need to do the job, right? So this way it makes it fun and not a pain in the neck. So. Here is my tools that I'm gonna have for this job. So, important thing, coffee. I decided to go with iced coffee because it's a beautiful day out. And this is, well it's an espresso, little instant thing. I thought I'd share it with you guys so you can see what, I, <laughs> what I'm drinking. Um, I'll provide a link if you're interested in it. And then I, of course I got my mechanics gloves. I have three quarter inch a breaker bar set up here, my ratchet, another three quarter inch open end wrench, glasses if I need them, and of course PV blaster, which I have already sprayed on these bolts here. This is four bolts, should be a pretty quick and simple job here as long as they break loose. Since I've already sprayed them, they should be doing all right. And so, if you are new to the channel and are, have a Bronco or interested in you know weekend mechanic stuff, I cover different things from installs to removals to reviews, tools, and so forth. This is my 1972 Ford Bronco. And if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys. So nonetheless, let's get to it. All right, so now that we got everything set up, we have our tools, we have of course the Bronco main attraction and the bumper at question. So first things first I'm just gonna get my gloves on. Broncos tend to be quite dirty sometimes. I'm gonna use my breaker bar here and then open end wrench. You don't want to mess up your ratchet to help it. I have not loosened this yet, so this may be a fail or a win. We'll see. switch over to my ratchet. That one broke out, free. Easy peasy. I got this breaker bar at Harbor Freight. Um, same with the uh, sockets. And then Craftsman said I've had for eons. This one toolbox that I've had here has lasted me a very long time. So since the bottom bolts are a little harder to get to than the top bolts, I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom ones first. This way, when I get to the top, it'll be easier to handle the bumper itself. Because honestly, I don't know how well it's gonna stay on when, once I remove the bolts. So I didn't install this bumper.
one down, three to go. Matter of fact, I can bring you guys in for a closer look. You don't need to see me, right? All right. I don't know. That's <laughs> the same goal or whatever. I feel like the same. Oh, crikey. This is what we got today. <laughs> Anyways, um, so now you get a little bit closer view of what's going on. <clears throat> So I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but there's another one down here. All right, so this set came with grid A bolts, two washers, and a net on each one. gonna look like my video stopped but basically gritty bolts two washers and a nut was just pulling them off with a three-quarter inch setup left the two top ones in so the bumper doesn't fall I removed all the nuts and washers off the top ones so now it's just a matter of pulling the bolts and pulling the bumper now, I didn't sell this bumper, so I don't know how heavy it is, but I'm sure it's nowhere near the weight of my bumper and length over there. So, anyways, if you have someone to help you, that'd be more ideal. Huh, not too bad. Do some workout. <laughs> there we go. Don't forget to collect your. I like to personally put the nuts and washers together, keep them as a set. And those will come in handy for potentially the other bumper, which I actually have bolts and washers and stuff for. But it doesn't hurt to have extra if you need them. So just add them to your collection. Well, it looks a lot more different without a bumper on there. Without that bumper on there. Uh, I don't even know if I ever noticed this, that I had the holes here. I believe that's for the front license plate. If I keep the screw, I'll have to weld that up. <laughs> yeah, other than that, it looks like in order to put that bumper on, the previous owner welded on what appears to be just that angle bracket with holes in it. I'll give you a closer look. Okay, so here's the closer look. Problem with buying 
from someone else, right? Since it wasn't brand new. I welded that in in order for that bumper to sit on there. Now, I don't even know if this is supposed to be like this. I'll have to look. So as you can see here, I have the same thing on this side. Welded it up onto the frame, which looks nasty right through there. I wonder if that was a weld through and it just ruined some of the frame and they stopped welding. So feel free to comment down below if you know or if you want to share information on your Bronco. Like, is this standard behind in the frame for the bumper? Also, based on my new bumper, I don't have the holes that are going to be needed. I think, I don't know if I use this bolt here on my uh, power steering box or what, because on the bumper, there's a hole going to be like right here, and then I think this is the bumper that uh, holds here. So I might need to use that one to mount it. I'm not sure. If you know, feel free to put it in the comments. Here, I'll show you. So here's the bumper. So this is the one I was talking about that would be where the power steering box is. Then I'd have to drill a hole for this one. And then these would of course go in the main holes on top. So that just about wraps it up. I'm gonna have to find a place to put the used bumper for now. And until I go to remove the rear one, I'm gonna just hold on to them so I could sell them as a set at some point. Other than that, I gotta get things prepped for the new to me bumper and might need to go ahead and weld the uh, cut those welds and remove those pieces that were originally put in there if you guys like to see that um, probably make a video on that as well and once again if you like what you see don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time enjoy the sun stay safe and take care